Yes. Okay, that's there we where they got it. So down here, you have just basic compartment space in here. Nothing fancy going on. Okay. To, it's just compartment space. Okay, this you do have a lock on each compartment that you have keys for. Each compartment can lock. Good. So if you look down over here, this is a, a slide out disconnect switch. So you know how you have slides that open yes. up? If this is off, uh -huh. the slide won't come in or out. Okay. This is your inverter disconnect switch. Same thing. This is your inverter right here. It's 2000 watts. If this is in the off position, your inverter won't turn on. Okay. And you have another 110 outlet that's out here too. You can plug in and use. Okay. And you have more compartment space that goes over top here and slides to the other side. Okay, when we left the RV, they gotta turn off, yeah? Yeah, only only if you're storing it. If you're just storing for it for winter time, something like that. Yeah, if we time, use it, we don't need it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I just leave these on all the time. Good. Unless you're storing. Uh-huh. This is your furnace exhaust. Okay. We do suggest, um, they're called critter guards. It's just a cover that goes on top of this. You can unscrew these and put it on yourself. That's so bugs and wasps and uh, creatures don't get inside and make a nest and things like that. Ah, okay. Yeah. You can order those online, aftermarket things, things okay. like that. It's another storage, yeah? Yep, another storage, basic compartment. Nothing going on here. Cool. Uh -huh. You see your propane. You won't ever have to worry about actually filling it up yourself. By California law, a gas station attendant has to fill it up for you. Three quarters is considered full on propane because the propane expands. Okay. Now, if you wanted to release propane because you have um, you have your stove that runs off propane, that releases the propane and turns it on. Okay. So we're gonna leave it on for now because I'm gonna show you the stove works and things like that. Okay. Uh, how many gallons is this? Uh, let's read it. Five. Eight. Eight. Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like small ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smaller one. I'd say eight gallons. I could double check for you though. Okay. I'll double check. Yeah. Looks about eight gallons. Okay, let's go next. Yeah, outdoor speakers right here, and you have your TV. TV, speakers outside, speakers. Uh huh. Your TV does turn on. I don't have it hooked up to any uh, cable or anything, but it turns on and it works. Okay. That's a nice TV. This compartment locks as well. You do have another 110 outlet that's out here too as well. Okay. This shuts down like this, and they twist, and then you'd be able to lock it too, right here. It's so more standard storage. compartment. It does slide through the top over there too as well. Okay. Right here, this is your propane quick connect. So if you wanted to grill and barbecue outside, you can actually hook up your grill to right here and now pull from your propane that you have in your tank mm. so you can barbecue outside do things like that fun stuff and then your tank you just connect the cable set yeah? yes the cable should connect to right here you want to need a separate tank for your grill good mm -hmm. this is how this stands right there yeah yep that's uh your stabilizer jacks stabilizer jacks yeah front and back or back only back and the front and front you see right up there. there the tires there's two yeah, in the front and right here, this is your fresh water gravity fill. So this is where you fill your fresh water tank okay. from. Uh, I believe it takes 50 gallons of fresh water. This pops off. And refill fresh water. You fill in right there. Okay, cool. And this actually locks too as well. I unlocked it so I could show you, but okay. this has a lock to it as okay. well. So this is your outdoor kitchenette. You do have a refrigerator. Nice and cool if you want to come through. Okay, cool. You can adjust the temperature from right here. 
from coolest to warmer. Uh -huh. It comes with ice cube trays. Uh -huh. You do have cabinet space. This is just where your appliances are connected, the fridge and microwave. You do have a standard high point uh, microwave. Everything works good on it. I'll press one. You do, this is your sink right here. You can wash, do dishes out here too as well. You have a sink plug that comes with it. Uh -huh. And this is like a, a kind of like a garbage disposal. It's a macerator. So if uh -huh. I flip this on, it's just gonna mix up any little food particles or things that are down in there. Okay, cool. You do have another 110 outlet and this is just a door for a technician or if they need to get to any of your wires or plumbing. Okay, cool. And this down here, it's just more space for your plumbing. You can store things on the left or right, but there is plumbing that's down here too as well. Okay. Good. All righty. This guy comes down. Awesome. So we'll go to the back. We do have a ladder. Um, the suggested weight limit is 255 pounds. We do suggest once a month or so, you go on top just to check the seals and all the caulking around, make sure nothing's blocking anything or nothing's leaking. Uh, you do have a backup camera up there too as well. Backup only? Not in sight? No, it's just, no it's, just, it's just for the back. This one's okay. just the back. Okay. You can look on the screen too, even while you're parked, you can press a button and you can see the back while you're parked too as well. Okay. For the backup camera. So down here is your tow hitch. Um, it's an 8,000 pound weight with an 800 pound tongue weight. So you can pull 8,000 pounds, but the weight on the front would be 800 pounds on the front, just the front end weight. That's the maximum. It's a maximum gross weight, yeah? 8, on the front, yeah, 8,000. 8,000 8, gross with the trailer and with the car or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, 8,000, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have a 7.10 for your brake controller. They go okay. in right there. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. And that is your generator exhaust that comes okay. out right over there. Huh? So your generator is actually located right here. It's a 5,000? Yep, 5,500. 5, ah, 5,500. Right. So it's a 5,500 watt generator, Damn. RA gas. It runs off gasoline. So actually your generator, the gasoline from it gets pulled from your gas tank. Okay. Your gas tank holds 80 gallons. Once your um, once your gas tank reaches about 25 percent, your generator will automatically shut off. Okay. Excuse me. Just to prevent prevents you from using the, up all your gas. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You can manually start it from out here too as well. And you have um, circuit breakers. If um, one of these gets tripped, you can come down here and flip it. Okay. Uh, you do have oil right here. The dipstick is built into this cap. Okay. So you can check your oil through the cap here too as well. Okay. Now everything up to level, eh? Well, yep, everything's all level. Everything's but all But there good. are no cover? Uh, this, this is the cover Only that goes this one? Not, not generator cover, like a green one? Yeah, this, this, this is all that came with it, this cover. Okay. Right down. Yes, it's like right here. You see? Yeah. Didn't go. Yeah. So you gas tank? Gas tank right there? Yeah. That's um, unleaded. It's an 80 gallon gas tank. What kind of fuel? 87, 91? Uh, 87. Standard. Unleaded. Standard one. Okay. Unleaded. Yep. This is your cord. This is a 50 amp cord. 50 amp, okay. Yep. You see it's connected to over here? Yes. It has um, four prongs that come in. Okay, right here. Uh -huh. This is a 30 amp cord. That's just the difference. It's a thicker, bigger cord. Um, so most RV hookups, they carry 30 amp and yeah. 50 amp. So it'd be a smart idea to buy an adapter 
to, to where it could plug into from 50 to the Tory. Yeah. Okay. Just so you can hook up to uh, different RV camps, whatever whatever um, standard they have, if it's 30 or 50. Okay, cool. Uh, this is dumping area, yeah? Yes, this is your dump station. Okay. So this actually spins. This right. actually moves right here. It moves? Yes. Okay. So you can move it up and down. This would pop off and you'd hook the hose to the bottom. So this 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 comes off too. This is the lid to it. You would unscrew this and you'd hook your hose. Put it down, connect it there. Yeah, and that would go through your dump station, right? and pull out this one those yes so this is your gray waste dump and that's your black waste we always suggest dump the black first then the gray because the gray kind of cleans it on the way out so this would be all your bathroom flushes and uh water like that that's shower ones yeah what was that and this one from shower is that filter for water yep and you do have low point drains here too as well if you wanted to drain your tank for storage you can twist this mm -hmm. i'll show you you see how water came out? It's from the storage, yeah? Yeah, that's from your water tank. It came out. So if you wanted to drain your tanks, you want to park the RV for a while, you'd flip these, the low point drains, and that would drain the water from your tank. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. What's this? Water city, this one, yeah? Yeah, this is a city water hookup. So if you have plugins, you're at the uh, campsite, you can hook up your water tube to right here. Uh -huh and uh, that will circulate your water. You wouldn't actually even need a water pump because it would already be pressurized. So this doesn't fill up your tank, this just circulates water through. What about the next one? This is your sandy flush. So as you can see, it reads um, sewer valve must be open when using this. It's the same idea. You hook up your hose to this and you leave your black tank pulled and that will clean out your black just tank. Just clean, okay. Yeah, because sometimes like toilet paper or things get stuck and it will misread on um, your uh your screen on the inside saying your black tank's full but it's empty that's because toilet paper stuck on the uh the sensor but we also can fill out the tanks with this no what was that ah uh, it's another side hose to yeah. fill out the tank to fill the tank yeah yeah okay good that's the but gravity fill what's right there this is your uh, shower outdoor shower ah uh, outdoor shower hot and cold this pops out you can clean off your feet rinse the dog off dishes things like that okay Okay. So this is your water heater. This is, you, you can locate it from the outside. You won't really ever have to come back here for anything. Um, it does hold six gallons and it runs off propane and electricity. Okay. And I'll show you on the inside how to turn it on and off and things like that. So I pop this open. It's just more compartment space. Uh, it doesn't go through the top on this mm -hmm. one. So down here, same thing, more uh, compartment space. This is just your slide controller. Try not to get that wet or damaged because that uh, helps it's the brain to control the slides when you press it on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's more okay. slide through space right there. So we go to the engine. And these are your side cameras too, on the side. Oh uh, yeah, both sides? Yeah. Both sides. So when you put the blinker on, it'll pop up on your screen so you can see while you're turning lanes, things like that. So this is your engine. We're gonna take a look at it. You got your coolant over here. You got your battery. Uh, you got your transmission and your um, engine oil dipsticks. You come over here. You have your power steering and um, windshield washer fluid and up here and it's hard to see but this is where you fill your oil so i suggest getting a pump that you can pump your oil to it takes 5w30 and that's the cap it's right here okay it's hard to see it's way back here to refill the oil what was right that there. yeah refill right there. oil right there yeah yep it's right up here see this knob mm. if you reach there and fill it I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh -huh. Okay. Nice and clean, everything looks good. New one. And up, yeah, and up there, that's a transmission dipstick and the engine oil dipstick. Okay. 
You ready to go inside? Yes. First thing, when you come inside, you have some controls right here that are important. Uh huh. So this right here, this will retract and extend your awning. So if I press um, retract. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's the light. Oh, it might be automatic. Maybe keys inside. I said no. No. Let's see. Oh, yeah. oh, there it goes. You need to hold it. Yeah, I gotta hold it down. Some of them are automatic. Mm -hmm. So that you hold it down and that will bring your awning okay. in. Okay. This is the light switches for the lights on the inside. So it's like the master switch. So okay. that just turn on all the lights. This is your porch light, on and off. Okay. Both. Entry light, on and off. Mm -hmm. And this is your entry step. So if you want to come in, or actually, if you close the door, uh -huh. you'll see the step that will come back in. This one automatically? Yep. So if you close it, let's, let's see it work. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's automatically. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So if you go down here, this is your battery disconnect. Mm -hmm. So this, this will disconnect the whole battery if you turn it off and you turn it on. That's okay. for your house batteries. Okay. Where are they located? House batteries, right? Your here. house batteries it should be under the steps. Under the steps. Yeah, I believe these pop off, and you should be able to see your house batteries under okay. these steps. Um, you okay. always want this on because your your alternator will charge your house batteries while you drive. Okay. So always keep this on, even when you're plugged in. You need this on to charge your batteries. Okay. Um, right here, this is your remote switch to your inverter. So right now we're plugged in. So mm -hmm. all your appliances and everything is working. Working from the side, yeah. Yeah. So if you turn this on, the guy that's down there, and then you know how it's on the on, that's your inverter. So while this is on, let's say you're out driving and um, you know, you're on your way to a camping spot, that will power your fridge. So if you want to go somewhere and you're not plugged in, your inverter will, will keep your fridge cold. So have your inverter on. Are you electrical only or gas? Electric. Only electric? Yeah. Okay. The only thing that's gas and electric is uh is gonna be your uh, water heater. Water heater. Yeah. That's the only thing that's propane and electricity. Okay, refrigerator, electrical, under. okay. Yeah. So you have a two th about it's actually a twenty three hundred watt inverter. That's um, enough for the refrigerator. That's enough for both refrigerators. This one and the one outside right there. Okay, both of them electrical. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that will power most of your one ten outlets, like um your plug in outlets and your TVs too. Okay. Yep, so that's this guy right here. Very mm -hmm. important. So if you're, you're traveling, just remember, turn them on when you hit the road. Okay. And we'll get to this too. This is just um, you slide room in and out. Sometimes the engine has to be on in your emergency brake. Uh -huh. See right now it's not working, so your engine does have to be on, but that's how you bring this slide in and out. And then right here is for the bed, but we'll come back when I get to the front and I'll show you how that works. Okay. But um, we'll start from the back over here and we'll make our way to the front. Well, follow me back here. Mm -hmm. This is the master bedroom. Very nice. King size, yeah. Yeah, very mm -hmm. nice. Pretty big one. And you actually have tons of storage underneath the bed that lifts up. Yeah, I see. See over there, plenty of storage. Yeah. You have kids? Is this fuse this right there? Fuse the box? Yep, that's a fuse box. Okay. Pop it open and the breakers, everything breakers. is labeled too. It's labeled too, okay. Mm -hmm. What is it? Up, up. This is um, your diagnostic center for your fuses. So if one is uh, tripped or is bad, you'd be able to come through over here. This is for the techs if they need to work on something. They come through and uh, update your fuses or check them. Okay. You won't really ever have to mess around with this thing right here. Uh, this, maybe, if a fuse or something gets tripped, flip the breakers. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have an emergency exit right here. These do pop up, and the whole window can pop out. So if there's a fire or anything it's emergency, uh -huh. you can get out of there. You do have more cabinet spaces over here. 
These are pretty big cabinets. Very cool. You have a light switch, reading light. It can maneuver around on and off to them right here. You do have more cabinetry in here too as well. These pop out and they actually fold in too as well. And this is actually a pull to your table that goes in the middle right over there. We'll be using that. Oh, finish, okay, right? okay. Yeah, and these fold in like this. So, you know, there's plenty of space. Mm -hmm. You have more cabinets that come down here. Make sure all these are working. So, put it in and out good. You have another TV here too as well. It does turn on. And you actually have another emergency exit. exit right there too as well. So lots of safety in here. So your TV does work. It's ready for you to hook up your channels and everything. Mm -hmm. Come in here too. You do have a privacy curtain. Okay. You have more drawer space. It has plenty of storage in this unit, which is really nice. You do have another 110 outlet right here. And the light to your room, controlled right here too. You have a mm -hmm. switch. Okay, is this one? This is AC. AC, this AC or both, for both? Oh, let's see. I think it's just this AC. So you can adjust it, the one right above your bed, and you have another one right there, above the slide room controller, that one. Uh -huh. that one. And you can adjust the temperatures right here too as well. I'll leave it off for now. But you can have an auto, high, low, or um, high on okay. that side. Okay, if I, if I park somewhere without uh, full connections, mm -hmm. how long can I use the AC without uh, engine started, just from the battery, from the inverter? Actually, your, your inverter won't power the AC. Your generator will power your AC. Ah, I need to turn on generator. Generator, yes. Good. And um, that all depends. Um, it depends on the day, how hot it is too as well. Um, if you run your generator, it will shut off at 25% uh, so you won't be stranded. I'd suggest just on a hot day, run your generator, see how long see how long it runs until it runs out, and then that'll give you the idea of how long you can run it on a hot day. Okay. It all depends on how much fuel you're using too as well. Yes, okay. So you do have another TV? Another right TV. It's a three. Yep. Three TVs, you got remotes for every single TV. You have more cabinet space in here. This TV for those guys, yeah? Uh, so there's actually, the TVs on here, there's there's no TV in them, but there's a place to hook them up right over here. Oh, it's another TV for them. Yeah, so you can add TVs, like aftermarket, go to Walmart, they 100 bucks. And same as there? Yep, same as there. Oh yeah, it's connection right there. Yeah nice and you do these windows pop open too they just twist open like that you do have screens for them as well wow. and this is the top to your table that i will show you in a minute that's the table for the front yeah yep so this guy over here you do have uh, more cabinetry down here these do pop open so the kids can have you know their clothes shoes things like that in there over here, you do have more space. This is hookups for your TV. Oh, it looks like what? Broken. You didn't. That right there? Oh, a no. screw? No screw right there. No screw? Okay. I'll take note to that. I have one of my techs add a mm -hmm. screw. Yeah. More cabinet space down here. Mm-hmm. Rest room. Rest room. Rest room. Yeah. Very big for an RV. Yeah. Totally Very right. nice. You yeah. have um, so you have another window that comes over here. Where is the light switch? There it is. This pops out. You have a medicine cabinet. Plenty of space in here. You do have a sink. Hot and cold water. I'll give it a second to run hot. Mm -hmm. I don't think my water pumps on. See the pressure is pretty low. Pressure is low. Yeah, that's because I didn't. I don't have the water pump on. Oh, okay. So you do need your water pump on to use your water. I'll show you how to turn that on over there. Okay. This is your shower. You have a 
latches that hold it in place. So while you're traveling, make sure this latch is down so it's not wiggling around and shaking and it mm -hmm. could break. So this, this guy pops off. You can change the pressure how it sprays out, either short and powerful or bigger and long. Okay. Hot and cold. You do have a little skylight too right here as well. Uh-huh. You have a privacy shade that comes down. Okay. Tile rack, you actually have a 110 outlet. You have more um, cabinetry in here for towels, things like that. Toilet paper holder. And uh, you have a porcelain toilet, which is good. They're easier to clean and you can use bleach on them and things like that. Okay. So how this toilet works. It's a little loose. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a tech tighten that mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So how this works is if you need to use the toilet, mm -hmm. you have to fill it with water. So in order to fill it with water, you would put half a step right here on this lever. Okay. Well, I don't have my water pump on. So if this this half a step would fill it with water mm -hmm. like it is right now, then the full step will flush it down. Okay. So always remember, depending on what type of business you need to do in the bathroom you might need to add a little more water depending on it okay so toilet and uh screw in the cabinetry okay. so this is um a precision circuit so this can control everything in here so if i go here this is the light so i turn these off oh no See that? Uh, turn them all on. Okay. It's the master light. This is all your light switches. So if I go here, this is showing me my tank levels. So it's saying my fresh water is full. My gray water is empty. Black is empty. My liquid propane gas is full. Mm -hmm. And my coach battery and my chassis battery are, are charged. That's about normal. 13.2, uh -huh. 12.6. That's about standard. So front front side that's for your slide out right here too as well you can control it from right here from oh, okay mm -hmm. and then this is your patio this is for your awning you can control your awning from right here too okay you do have another switch over there in the front that can bring it in and bring it out too okay so this is your generator this is um ags is off that means automatic generator start so if you want to start it manually you prime it Now your generator started. So like you said, if you're out camping or you're you'd have no hookups, uh -huh. you want to run your AC, you'd need to start your generator to do that. Okay. And that's how you do it. And if you want to stop it, press and hold. Okay. Yeah, press and hold down. And give it a second. And okay. then it'll, it'll turn and then on. Start pressing right here again. Yeah, huh? and hold it down for a second. Hold it down, okay. Mm -hmm. So if I go right here, you see the water pump, it's off. So I'm, you heard that? Uh, and now it's why, on. Okay. So now if I go over here. Now water will go, so yeah. Not, not a what? Water. The water looks like some kind of white. Why is that? Uh, it's from when they winterize it. They winterize it? Yeah, from, when they, from the factory so that it doesn't um, freeze in the lines. But why do they use for smelling? Because sometimes in the restaurant it's so bad smelling. What do they use for smell? For like the toilet? Yeah. For like the uh, septic tank? Yeah. Maybe um, septic maybe somewhere here or out. Yeah, if you feel it, it's hot too. You want to check uh, your water heater? It's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah what so... Do they, use? do they put something in, inside yeah, of the they, toilet or in the water? They have stuff that you can... So are you talking about your black tank? If it starts smelling and the smell comes up through? Yeah. Um, so they do flush things down here in your septic tanks. Um, there's different brands from them. You can buy them at Walmart or Amazon. Uh, it's like septic tank tablets that they drop in the tank. You flush it down there and that kind of eats up everything and it's supposed to help clean it essentially. Okay. But, but you, do they put something in a fresh water tank? Are you talking about fresh and things, no? To clean it, like sanitize? Something like that, yeah. Like now. Because like, like now? now it's something inside here, yeah? you see? Kind of no, this is um. It doesn't smell like. 
it smells like um so they have when they when they winterize the unit they put it's a it's a antifreeze that sits in the line so it doesn't freeze so when they winterized it they pumped the antifreeze after they drained the tanks after they drained all the water out they pumped the antifreeze through the line so they wouldn't freeze so i just run it through i'd run your water through until you run out of your fresh water and dump it all out and then add new fresh water into it before you use it okay mm -hmm. that's just what's left this is residue like what's okay left what's it. next right here so the water's hot right yes that's because we have this guy on A1. electric water heater i can turn it off by clicking it you heard okay. the click uh-huh this is the liquid propane water heater. I have it off. So what? how the hot water was just heated, that was only the electric. Okay. So if I turn this on. It'll be the electric or, or gas. Yeah. So both of them are on right now. That means I can heat my water faster. Okay. So if you need to hurry up and get in the shower and you want to, you don't want to wait long, turn both of these on and uh, about five to 10 minutes, your water should be hot. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the next? Um, that's it. And you back to home screen. Touch the box. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's your login. And this is the same thing, yeah? Same thing as the other one. So I pop this on. Turn on the out here. So I'll leave that off. Okay. And refrigerator 110, regular ones, yeah? Yep, 110. So that's going to be run off your inverter too. While it's plugged in right now, we're running off the 50 amp cord. It's coming straight here and powering everything. While you're on the road, you're gonna need to have the inverter on to make sure this fridge stays cold because it won't run off your 12 volt house batteries. Okay, but how long is it gonna stay just under an inverter, from the inverter? If I park somewhere and go somewhere for maybe two, three hours, it's refrigerator still work then? Yeah. Without my generator, sir? Yeah, if your inverter's on. If inverter, how long is that? Uh, it depends if you don't have anything plugged in. Yeah, um, just refrigerator. Because refrigerator, uh, electrical only, you no know, gas yeah. like that, yeah? So it all depends. So how it works is when you drive your car. It will recharge the battery. It will recharge your alternate. Your alternator will charge your battery, which your inverter pulls energy from and shoots it to the fridge. So it depends on how much charge you have. Um, it should ideally last a long time. I'd say... I can't say exactly an exact time because there's a lot of different factors, but mm -hmm. at least a day or two. Oh, at least a day. Okay. Yeah. So That's enough. You, yeah, it'd be plenty just to leave. You know, you got anything to do, you should That's be fine. Enough. Okay. Then you have your freezer here, nice and cold as well. Um, you have the temperature adjuster right there in the back. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And this actually locks your fridge, so while you're traveling. You can have that there that will lock it from opening. Okay. You do have more cabinet space in here. Whiskey cabinet. <laughs> Things like that. All right, you do have a microwave. It's That's standard. Pretty big one. Yeah, pretty big. Um, it does work. Let me press that. Let's see, time cook. Yeah, it works. Let me see. Time cook, I go 20. Yeah, the most times on cooks. Right. I'll clear that. You do have a vent too. Uh, let's see. Okay, I went for the old stone, yeah. Two speeds. That's how you do it. You turn that one, that's one speed. You click it again, it'll be faster. Then the third one will turn it off. This will control your light on it too. Mm -hmm. So this pops up like this. You have a little lever. It comes up and it folds. So in order, this 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 comes uh, propane. This runs off your propane. So if you want to turn it on, this releases the propane as you can hear, and that ignites the spark to it. Wow. Yes. Very powerful. Yes, really powerful. So I'm gonna turn these off. In your ovens, the same thing but you actually have to have a long lighter and manually light it from down here mm -hmm. so you would release it for the propane right there and down here this is where you would light it manually with a long lighter so once the gas is released that would light the pilot light and then you'd okay, adjust this one electrical doesn't work for this stuff right that's only for the top or for the so top down one. here you need a, a barbecue lighter okay 
down here, more area, pots and pans, things like that. Mm -hmm. You do have a, a bag that has all your manuals. Everything, everything in here has has a book or something about it that you can read up on to get more more idea on what's going on. It comes with an extra water filter and a tool to take it off. Mm -hmm. Water filter, which one was outside? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you actually have. Let's see. Yeah, no, okay. that's outside. Okay. Yeah, outside one. Yeah. Okay, what is that? Water heater. Okay, so By that bus. that is if you're gonna winterize, winterize your unit. So remember how I said there was winterized before we started? Yeah. So this is the lever for when the person or whoever did the winterizing was using. That bypasses your water heater. So you live in California, correct? Mm -hmm. So we don't get below about below 32 degrees. Mm -hmm. This would be if you're somewhere cold and you wanted to store your RV for a while, you would drain all your water in your tanks. Right here. No, no, that wouldn't release the water, but you would drain it from the low point drain. Oh, right there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Release all your water. And as soon as that's released, you would have, um, it's like half a hose. It hooks up into your um, city water connection and you would have a pump. Mm -hmm. You'd make sure your water pump's turned on. It would siphon the antifreeze from the bucket into your RV and that would go through your lines. The reason this is here is because you need to bypass your water heater because you don't want the uh, antifreeze to go inside your water heater okay. because that will, uh, it could ruin your water heater. So that's what that's for. It's just to bypass it so it doesn't go in there and only comes in the unit so it doesn't freeze. Okay, but right now I need to release all water from the tanks, yeah? Yes. And I refill another one. So you refill fresh, yeah, fresh. start fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't, and you don't need to do this. You just need to just drain your water, just add new water to it. Mm -hmm. You do have another 110 outlet out here. Mm -hmm. More cabinet space. You do have remotes for up there. For TV? Uh, no, it's for your radio. You do have a radio in here too. You have one by the bedroom. Ah, oh, that's for radio. Yeah, this you have this guy right here. You have a radio right here too. It plays speakers. Through the speakers that are right below. It's right two here. radios right here, yeah? Two ones. Yeah. That's why two remote controls, yeah? What is this? No, no, that's a ah, that's, that's a, just an outlet. outlet. Uh one of those should be for your uh the screen in the front too. So that's why you have two remotes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you do have more windows out here. I used to pop up. Like that. You do have privacy curtains that come down too as well. Mm -hmm. Light switches are right here. Okay. This is your sink, really big sink. Yeah, it's kind of big ones. Nice. So these pop out like this. It's just your drain. Hot and cold. This actually pops out too. You can move it around. You can change the pressure too. Very nice. And these come out right over the top, so it's extra counter space. more cabinetry up here so you do have an HDMI hookup if you wanted to hook up a DVD player or Xbox for the kids it come through and play come on that through. TV okay you do have another 110 outlet over there in the corner I see, I see. Uh -huh. um, this actually turns into a bed okay you want to see a demonstration okay Let's go. So these are your keys too, to your compartments. Double key, double key. Yep, you have, you have two of these and two of the gray ones. Okay. It's a slider for the upstairs right there. Yep, it comes in like that. Okay. Like that. But this turns, this turns into a bed too. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna move this off for now. So if you wanted to move this into a bed, you have a lever that turns and that releases it. So if I do that, this comes down. So I'm gonna move these cushions. 
Just push it in. Yeah, this Velcro. You just push that off. It has little Velcro straps at the bottom. Just hook onto them. And you have storage. Oh, looks like they nailed it on this side. Let's see. And same as this too. Yeah. Oh, it looks like they screwed it, but you can unscrew it and uh, there might be some extra storage space down here. Okay. Um, so let me see. This slides down like that. Mm -hmm. so these will go over. Put it this one. Let me slide this one. You have one seat belt for each? Yeah, on each side. On each side. Uh -huh. It's actually for kids, yeah? It's about five feet. Yeah, it looks like about five feet. Okay, but well, still good. Not bad. Uh -huh. It's just sitting on the seat belt. But then you have a bed right here, too. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this back. Just pull it or what? Yep. It's kind of spring loaded so it pops straight up for you. Just remember to lock it at the bottom. Lock it right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we put these back for you. Okay. You do have more windows right here. Pop open. And then this turns into a bed too as well. I'll show you a demonstration. So it's just a jackknife. So you pull from the bottom and it falls mm -hmm. out and comes down like that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And so these windows, make sure these guys open. Do have another light switch right here. More compartment space. So this would be um, if you want hookups for your internet and cable. This will all be done right here. You do have an HDMI cord and two cable cords. This is your signal booster. So if I click that, that boosts your signal for uh, your TV so you can get better reception. It's just this okay. little button right here. And you do have another 110 outlet right here as well. Okay. Let's see but does it have an antenna on the top, the roof? Uh, I can check. Most of them come with like... Uh, its own antenna so you can get local channels but yeah for local channels yes. yeah so people do get cable and wi-fi built in onto there too that costs extra there's a lot of different little things you can do i don't know too much about it though okay <clears throat> let's go next about this strong. yeah so this that's over here so this is the key for it, your bed lift control okay. if it's off uh -huh. that won't go down so it has to be on and turn okay and press and hold it there, yeah? Press and hold. Uh, it's not, no, no. And you would have to pull the seat out a little bit, but... So if you want okay. it down all the way, you just adjust the seat back a little bit. Okay, if, if it's not enough, yeah? Yeah, if it's not enough. And then this guy just come on like this. You climb up. Yeah, it should be down there. Right? Yeah, but if the bed was down all the way, it'd be on the ground. Okay, cool. So you do have a mattress that's right here. It's mm -hmm. a top topper mattress. Um, the light turns on when this is down all the way. That's why it's not working right now. The, um, you do have cargo space to hold things here on the sides. Mm -hmm. It's awesome because of this thing. 
Yeah. It connected right there, yeah? Under right here. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. So you don't fall through, like nothing no. falls through. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up. So if you wanna go up, just the same thing, hold it, hold it up. This is the space to get under there. Oh. Underneath it. I'm like, why isn't the you can't pull it from the top? That's because they built a hole right here. So you have space down here, more yes, cargo space. Yes, yes, pretty cool. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you the table. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pole for you. Yeah, it's just some of the specs on there. So Mm -hmm. Same 50 amp cord, 50 gallon fresh. So I'll pop this off. This is just the cover to go to it. And this goes in. And twist it, yeah? And twist. So once that's twisted, you have a table. It just pops right on top. Mm -hmm. There you got your table. Okay. But this. Does sit too long? Yep. I'll show you that too. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Okay. Twist it, pull it. Mm -hmm. Put that right there. I'll put the cap back on. I'm gonna hop in the seat. So if the table was out, I wanted to, uh, you know, have something to eat, something to drink. I'd reach down over here. Now flip this lever. Okay. Flip a little tall. But that turn this chair around. And it goes to about right here because you have this blocking. Otherwise okay. it would do a full 360. No fucking this. Okay. Yeah. Same as this one? Yep. So just enough to the table. It's about as far as it goes because it'll hit right here. Okay. So over here too, you have It's a locket, yeah? Yeah, it's locked. Okay, so up here, this is your front of your RV. I'm gonna go ahead and start it, show it to you. Really nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and practice the AC. Adjust the temperature right here, how high it goes. Um, what type of, where you want the hair to go, just like your car. Defrost, okay. circulator, AC button for it to be cool. Control the temperature right there. These are your vents, they also twist and turn. So this is the electronic leveling. You familiar with this? It's outside level. Yeah, so if you, there, I have the jacks down. I'm not gonna bring them up right now, but if I wanted to. Okay. I press the, uh, the power button and I go to retract. If I click retract, you want to see retract? Yeah. Okay. It's going to go automatically. Automatically. Level, level. Yeah. So I just click the retract. You have auto level and auto retract. If you turn it on, you want to pull your jacks out, you just click auto level. Okay. And if you want to bring them in, you click the retract. And just give it a second to warm up and um, see it says remain still. So it's going to pull it, go ahead and start pulling it up. I cannot drive. No. Well, not while it's down. So if you try to start and put it in drive, your jacks, this will start beeping and say, hey, the jacks are still down, you know, don't drive. Okay. Some of them do have safety mechanisms where if you put it in drive, they'll automatically go up themselves. Okay. 
I'm not sure if this one does it or not, but I want to try it. I just pull the jacks up before we go. So right now, now I'm saying it's grounded jacks. So we'll give it a second. We'll let it run its course over here. Okay. And uh, for this one, your engine has to be on for your jacks, for your auto level to work. Okay. And it's just analyzing. It's going making sure everything's level. So why if it's flashing, that means it's still working too. Okay. Yep, success. So now I, I put the jacks down too because I clicked auto level so okay. they brought it back down. I just wanted to show you, demonstrate it. So you do have shade that comes that's automatic. So if the, I whole, click, the whole window. This button down here. All right. Now put your shade down as you can see. So if you are driving too, let's see. So, because my engine's off, it can come all the way down. But if you're driving, it will stop only about a quarter way to right okay. here. So you can still see out. So that would be like your sunshade. So you can bring it down some if the sun's wow. in your eye. Yeah. yeah, so I'll bring it back up. I press this button. And now I'll raise, raise the, uh, the shade back up. And same on the left and right sides right here. What was that? Left and right side too. Uh, no, these are manual. These oh, are pulled down. manual. Okay, that's not the one. Mm-hmm. So this is your uh, battery jump start. So you hear that click? Mm -hmm. That right there, that's if, um, let's say you're stranded and uh, you don't have, uh, your, your car is not turning over because your batteries are dead. Mm -hmm. You can press this right here and start your engine. And that click, what that does, that connects that battery to your house battery and gives you extra charge so you can start mm -hmm. your RV. Okay. Broke down. Okay. So this is your mirror controller. A mirror, okay. So if I click that, I'm on the left side, so that's going to control the left mirror. Up, down, and around so you can adjust it. Now if I click this over to the right, it's going to control that one. Mm -hmm. Down, left, to right. Um, you do have controls for your lights over here. So you have fog lights, so you want them down or on the Fog lights outside, yeah? Yeah. You I can, see. You can see them shining. Uh -huh. I'm going to leave them off for now. Uh, your emergency, your e-brake is down here. That's the release to it. And then... Parking brake, yeah? Yep. Yeah, and that's the down. The release um, is hiding right under here. Okay. You do have a steering wheel adjuster too right here. You can adjust how your steering wheel is. That just presses down. So that's your jack leveling system. You can also start your generator from here, too, as well. I'm gonna pull this. So if you wanted to start to, generator, and your key turn off, yeah. Take what was out. that? To start generator, key it has to be out, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Actually, no. You can have your key in because you can you can actually run your generator while you're driving. Mm. So like, let's say it's a hot day, you're driving through los angeles and you have you know people in the back and it's getting hot right, right, you can right. start your generator and turn your ac like that it's not gonna work if key is in yeah? right right actually the key has to be in and the, uh the e-brake has to be on for the slide out to for go the slide out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is just uh for your for your radio this will turn off in a second but um this is for when you're parked and traveling uh let's say you're parked and you want to use your radio and this will light up and then you want to in travel mode. So sometimes it has a, a, it won't let you navigate and mess around with this if you're driving your vehicle. Right now it will stay on for a minute because I did have the key in the ignition, but this will be for park and travel mode for your radio to turn on. Okay. So this is your tuner. This is for your radio. 
Bluetooth work? Bluetooth? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Bluetooth too. So you have Cyrus XM too. So I'm gonna click that, or you, you know, you're gonna have to pay for that one, but you can, you can have your music hooked up to there. Bluetooth audio, you can connect your phone to that, and it'll display on the screen. Uh, you can actually hook up your phone too as well, so you answer calls, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, USB too as well. There's no device connected, but you plug into any of these. Right? Actually, no, it'll be right here. That's for a USB. Mm. Let's see here. USB not connected. That's a Bluetooth. And then if I want to see the rear camera and see the back, it's right there too as well. So I can see things going on. Okay. And then auxiliary cord, you can plug in right there and hook your music up through there too as well if you don't like Bluetooth. And then these are just your settings for for everything you have, general and sound. You can adjust it, balance it, things like that. You add extra bass, things like that, all this fun stuff. Language, you can change the language too. Um, okay. Rear view camera, clock time. And then that's for text, factory reset it, firmware. And then you back at your home screen. Yep. And this is your volume control right here. Okay, cool. And then you do have USB ports, two right here. You also have another two right here. You also have another two right there. And oh, yeah, plenty, plenty of USB ports plenty, in here. Yes, plenty of them. And you do have light switches that come right here. You can move around, little reading lights. Same as there. Yep, same as the bedroom. So you slide this back some. This pops out too, you have space. You do have a, a cup holder right here. Some storage on the side, some speakers down here too as well. This shade pulls down like this. Okay. Cabin space. Yeah, what is the light? That's for up there. Uh, the one ten yes, yes, yes. mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, Looks like that's it. Yeah, that's about it. How do you how do you feel about it? Awesome? Perfect. Perfect. So beautiful. So good. Beautiful. Beautiful. You do have like it. Check that too. Yeah, more storage. Right more storage. Yeah. And they all connect too. Yeah. Plenty of storage in it. I love this unit. Very nice. Is yes. there any? Do you have any questions on anything or how to use anything? No, so good to you. I like it. Nice. Glad That's you it? Like it. Awesome. All there right. Is, there is two things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a note of the um, the screw that needs to yes. be added right there. And was there one other thing?